I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Where we could run our business free from interference from the police. The government. The army. The Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me. Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño.
agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari. Leader of the resistance group Qataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sap phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
senior rebel leader named Amaru has been captured by the cartel. Interrogate a Santa Blanca lieutenant for Amaru's location, then go and extract him. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Hooah. Buckle up, people. All right, I'm in. Santa Blanca, con DJ Perico. ¡Dale, vato loco! Drone is up. Thank you. 
You spotted one with submachine guns. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. A target carrying submachine guns. I got a third target. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. That tango's down. Baby makes three. Got it, moving. Say the word.
Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. That's one down. Got another tango. Tango number three. Getting a position. Ready to fire. Eyes on a narco with a submachine gun. Been spotted. Got it, moving. Say the word. Down. They're going to be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Spotting them. That was messy as shit. Silencio, marche. Pinche cabron. Está bien, ganaron. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels.
A senior rebel leader named Amaru has been captured by the cartel. Interrogate... A Santa Blanca lieutenant for Amaru's location, then go and extract him. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Let's go. And that representation of death affirms life. And life, real life. Not that habit of modern living. But la verdadera trembles with the force balls. of the greatest thunderstorm, with the violence of the oceans. This is the experience that Santa Muerte buys. Come to us and learn more about her. Come, Venom. You do not fuck with El Sueño, wey! Here is a brief recording of what Jorge in Inca Camina has to say on the topic. Oh, God! Mercy! Mercy! I will hear your confession. Perhaps then, Santa Muerte will forgive you. I don't know any... Ah! Dios mío! My foot! Give it back! Por favor! Listo! Listo, listo! It was me, I gave the Colombians a shipment of Super Coca. It was just one small shipment. Ah! And there you have it, Raza. Do not fuck with Santa Blanca. And now, an old favorite going out to Jorge. Be the tenth caller with the correct name of the song and win Jorge's gold watch. Bolivianos don't seem all that happy to see us. Can you blame them? If a bunch of random folks walked into your neighborhood with guns, would you run up and hug them? If they were as sexy as me? Yeah. Locals will be a lot happier once we start clearing out cartel strongholds. I don't know. A lot of these people rely on the cartel for work, shelter, food, medicine, even religion. It sucks to be us. Hearts and minds, you know. Hearts and minds. We make the cartel appear weak, resistance will come around. Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go.
deploying drone. I see a second target. I got a third. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Got one. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? Aquí 
no hay nada. Seguimos busque y busque y nomás ni un pinche ruido. Y un pinche culero por aquí. A ver qué sale. Los estoy esperando, cabrón. Got kicked the field. Weapons free, weapons free. Fucking hell. We're clear. Que muerto. Gracias lo que fuera por hablar con ellos. Oiga, oiga. Usted puede ayudarnos. Yo sé que usted puede. Todavía no estamos a salvo. Pero Dios le pagará esto que ha hecho por mí. Ni la Virgen ni todos los santos van a venir a ayudarme. Hold up, there's a weapons case here. Alguien ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Nice. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Así que escuchen bien. El yo no perdona. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. There are a lot of lights and switches up here.
you're taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pak Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Check it out, weapons case. This will go nice with my boots. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval was when you questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock.
Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Pleto is coming through. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El... key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Las noches os van como putitas. Todos juntos para todos lados. Drone is airborne. Marking a captain. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. Uni Dad Bird approaching. Stay down.
Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Got it, moving. Say the word. Target is down. Clear. How are you guys holding up? Hola, ¿qué tal? You hear anything about the cartel or the Sicarios around here? Hey, ¿qué pasa? Gracias. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later.
Hostiles in the area, stay frosty. Hang back, that tango might spot you. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Damn, haven't seen anything like this since I was in a sandbox. Sandbags, barbed wire, observation posts. The rebels must be giving Santa Blanca hell. Bet these cartel assholes never thought they'd be spending their time dodging snipers and IEDs. Karma sure can be a bitch sometimes. Buckle up, we people. might meet in prison, and we may see something in these hombres that we like, something that has potential. To the market, Jeeves. The boy who asked the question, what makes a good sicario, was asking because he wanted to know he should be, who he should become. There are many qualities that a good sicario strike well. Goldness, strength, and the rifle. Screaming till his lungs give out, and then he will be discarded and tossed away into the dirt. 
Bowman. We just arrived in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzita must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. We got some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzita. You guys seeing this? Looks like a hell of a resort. The cartel owners. Let's go scare off some rich folk. Fuck with the car. Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a meppy, a Mexican preppy, or a prepsican if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. What Carzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before, and it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Tell tourism and get Carzita's ass back to Agua Verde. soldiers nearby. Opening fire. Let's go. Fucking hell. Province is part of the cartel's influence operation. Their propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their MO. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. Got eyes on some cartel trucks moving on the road. Looks like a food truck and escorts. Probably a resupply convoy. You wanna take a run at him? The rebels could make sure that food gets to the people who need it.
engaging tangos. Taking fire from the checkpoint. There's a governor from Argentina in town, visiting the resort for a piece of trim. We get a recording of those two bumping uglies and blackmail them. That might be enough to get the rest of the VIPs to leave. Found a rebel radio transmitter that's been cold for too long. Let's heat it up. You know, there's a reason why the rebels don't keep these things running. Like all the bullets the cartel throws at them. Guess we'll have to throw some back. Got it. 
Elevator is taking too much damage. Keep jamming our signal. That's it, we're clear. I got you, man. Just hang tight. I'm heading your way. <sighs> Son of a bitch. around here for some intel. Hola, ¿qué tal? You hear anything about the cartel or the Sicarios around here? Gracias. Taking up that cartel supply plane will make our job a lot easier. How about instead of blowing... ...the shit out of it, we steal it and give it to the rebels instead. Para él. 
shit. There's nobody told these tourists about the travel advisory. Shit, we got company. Got another tango. I got a third target. That makes five. The drone is up. I got a target carrying submachine guns. They know we're here. That LT's getting away. are coming this way. What's the plan? Let's roll.
We're clear. Got some intel here on a supply crate that got airdropped into an iffy place. We should confirm this personally. That's it, we're clear.
Trinidad bird on patrol. Watch out. Just spotted one with some machine guns. I'm shooting these. We've got cartel Sicario troops engaging us. You're in trouble. Took you so long. Shit, we've got cartel soldiers in power. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Sniper up in the tower. 